myself professor pawar bk from department of geography jt art science and commerce college for women maligao on behalf of this video presentation i welcome you all today's topic of my video presentation is differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities for the furtherance of the cause parties to the convention in 1997 adopted the de kyo protocol in recognition of necessity for strengthening developed country commitments the kyoto protocol commits the developed countries including economies in transition to reduce emissions of greenhouse gases by an average of 5.2% below 1990 levels during 2008 to 2012 the kyoto protocol came into force on february 16th 2005 india is a party to this protocol in 11th conference on parties of unfccc held at montreal on 20th november to 9th december 2005 a landmark achievement was the adoption of various decisions now popularly called marac accords india government has started funding the projects relating to climate changes and organizing awareness programs seminars workshops meetings etc in this regards under the clean development mechanism that is cdm of the kyoto protocol a developed country with quantified emission limitation and reduction commitments would take up the greenhouse gas reduction project in a developing country the cdm aims to assist developing countries in achieving sustainable development by promoting environmental friendly investment from industrialized countries till march 10th 2006 the national cdm that is clean development mechanism authority has approved 552 projects in various fields including biomass based cogeneration energy efficiency municipal solid waste renewable energy such as wind small hydro projects etc government of india is considering various aspects such as agriculture water forestry infrastructure sea level rise extreme climate events researches education public awareness etc to involve under different projects on climate changes the details of various aspects of global warming acid rains ozone layer depletion nuclear accidents and holocaust are accounted in this way now first of all we will deal with the global warming or what we call it as the greenhouse effect the phenomenon greenhouse effect was first suggested in 1986 by a swedish chemist arcuidus who predicted that the concentration of gases reflecting heat would increase significantly he presumed that the doubling of these gases would increase the earth's temperature by several degrees he has right in this prediction except for his timings as he expected the ill effects to emerge after a few centuries and not so on it is feared that when all reserved fossil fuels are burnt in another 300 to 400 years the air temperature will rise by a few degrees resulting in catastrophic effects such as melting of snow on the poles and mountain caps causing rise in sea level and unprecedented flooding of land area the rise in temperature will not be steady but may mean a 1 degree celsius rise by 2026 and 3 degree celsius by 2100 accordingly global sea level may rise by 
20 centimeter in 2030 and 65 centimeter in 2100. This would bring a significant effect on the regional variations. The increase in global warming is almost equal to the increase in concentration of greenhouse gases of the atmosphere.